Hello party people. If you don't know why I look like this, then you should be following me on Instagram. But now I'm pretty sure I need to be calling you broccolis because apparently I look like broccoli and if you want to be a broccolo or a broccoli broski or whatever, then yeah, subscribe, make sure you subscribe. Essentially, this video is me finally applying for new grad jobs, even though I don't want to, but this is something that I should probably be doing because I cannot just account for getting a conversion offer from Shopify or Twitch. I need to be careful and actually, you know, keep options open. So that's why I have this video of me starting this again you know here we go again but this time this time it counts so it's even worse and this time um i actually have to study and do lead code so this will be fun and so many coding assessments that i need to do oh my god but anyways i am going tomorrow to the greylock tech career fair and greylock if you don't know it's a venture capital company and they invest money in startup companies such as robin hood figma stripe and a bunch of small ones that you've probably never heard of but I'm excited to go and it's like around two hours, it's on hop in, you just talk to them, get to know people. And they recommended to like make a list of like five to seven companies that you really want to go to, like or you need to talk to, and then a few that you want to talk to. So I'm going to do that today and get to know some of the companies and like do more research on them. And then we'll see what happens tomorrow. My lips are burning actually when I'm speaking because I'm wearing this random like Fenty Beauty lip balm that's heat and I thought it was called that because it's red but it actually burns your lips so do not recommend purchasing this <laughs> but yeah that's where we are right now and then next week is fig night so it's like this event like a whole week long series of events that Figma runs so I'm gonna be going to those so I was invited to those and I had to do a bite board assessment again so it's like two hours of my day on Friday to do that but it was good and it was similar to the one that I explained before when I was doing my internship interviews and those videos so yes, stay tuned and we shall see what happens tomorrow. Oh listen honey, if I told you about the way that I felt yeah. I wouldn't waste a minute if I had you all to myself We'd be walking in the moonlight, staying up to sunrise Alright, so now during my lunch break, what I'm gonna do is make like a short list of the companies that I really, really, really want to talk to. They said they like recommended maybe five to seven different companies and then try to think of questions to ask them. I think maybe, I don't know, like I know what tech stack they're using. I know that kind of stuff like that's important to me, like the number of people working there. But I'd like to ask them questions about, yeah, what's their traje trajectory? <laughs> what are their products that they're working on? What could I be doing if I had started like maybe next year? Like, do they know that yet? What other questions to ask? I don't know. There's too many things to think about. I guess I already know like where they're located because those are like, yeah, what's gonna make me shortlist them. So what other questions would I have? I guess just trying to get to know the personalities of the people who work there and see if I would want to work with them, that kind of thing. So basically there are 58 companies, like 57 companies. And then there are so many that emailed me. They were like, oh yeah, come to our booth. And then I, okay, maybe not no, but like I just mean, I don't want to do call in or react, that kind of stuff, like just those. So I'm making like a list of which ones I'm interested in talking to. So clockwise, I'm interested in rocket set, kangaroo, I have no idea, okay? They have three really young co-founders and one of them is an actress who knows Timothy Chalamet because when I Google her name, that's one of the first things that comes up. So I have literally no idea what this is because when you visit their website, like if I, okay, yeah, here's the spreadsheet of all the companies but if i go oh where's kangaroo hmm. or another one i really like is red panda or like a uh, vectorized because look they make red panda and then it's really cool because it's uh yeah kafka compatible event streaming platform so it's kind of a mixture of data eng and software eng kind of stuff that'll be super cool to work on plus red pandas are my favorite animals <laughs> so this is amazing and look how cute this is and the other ones i think are cool i thought sim was cool because i think it's pretty interesting and then retool i think that's really cool as well to help businesses build their like internal uh, platform type things and using building blocks 
What was Neuro? Oh my god, this one was like one of my favorites where it has like an autonomous vehicle and it can deliver things for you. It's super cool. This nerd wallet, I actually want to try out. It seems similar to like Borrow Well and a few other companies that I know, so I'm not sure what's the difference. And then this one, Nevo, looks pretty cool. So search results, no ads. I go to Kangaroo. It just says to join the waitlist. I have no idea what their company is. It's something with social media people. <laughs> I literally don't know. Literally, what does this mean? I have no idea. Maybe about, yeah. I don't know what this means, but I will find out today, I hope. Okay, I'm watching the demo video for CEO, and it's like this uh, search engine kind of that goes across all of your company data and then it makes it super easy for you to find things. And this is literally the problem I have so many times. I'm like, this is what I need. This is this is necessary. This is a good, good startup. Thank you. Okay, I emailed back the lady from CEO. So I guess I'll be talking to her later today too, because the product is pretty cool and they have more like jobs that are probably related to like my skill set. The other companies, like all the ones that are that I found super cool, you know, like all the autonomous vehicles, they're all like, yeah, C and C++ knowledge or like super strong skills in Kubernetes or at least that's like what the actual like software engineering positions on their website list. I don't know about new grad, like do they expect probably less, obviously, like not like three plus years experience. I don't have that much knowledge in C++, like I don't know C++, so that would be something I'd have to learn and I don't know if they're willing to take on someone who doesn't know it already, so you don't know. I'm feeling kind of weird and stressed out because you know thinking about your future is really hard that's why you know people stay at the same company for a long time and I don't know just comfortable to do that and to not have to interview but I guess it's like I might as well try to do this now while I'm still young and I still have like some memory of algorithms and data structures and I'm it's practice for the advanced course that I'm going to take in a few months anyways <laughs> but I don't know, it's kind of scary thinking about this stuff and trying to make these life decisions, but you'll never know if you don't try it out and why not learn about these companies at least, see what it's like, maybe like uh, interview with some of them if I, I get the opportunity to. Yeah, but it's stressful. I don't want to have to study again. I don't want to have to do leak code. That's the worst, that's the worst leak code, oh my god. Honestly, I wish I could just work at Twitch with them live in Japan or something like that, like live in some different country. But even like, yeah, America will be great too, but I don't know. I just want something super different. It doesn't matter if I don't get any job offers or anything. Just try, that's it. Oh my gosh, I completely forgot about this other company, Applied Intuition, that's like probably, okay, my number one or number two choice. I literally put exclamation mark because it's so cool. And why? Because it has all of these different locations <laughs> and it has a smaller co like group of people. And because super cool software to test autonomous vehicles. As you can see, I'm interested in autonomous vehicles. I don't know why, that just excites me. And then, yeah, the rest are also like pretty cool. I just really like their products. So that's mostly what I'm interested in. It's like I need to fall in love with the company and then with the people, of course, and the projects. And then I have to pass their interviews. So that's what we're doing now. <laughs> It's so weird when people say that they recognize me from LinkedIn. <laughs> One, like the last place I want people to know me from. It's hilarious. But a lot of people know Shopify. And then I put in my thing, like I put in my bio, like Twitch intern slash Shopify intern. But everybody just goes to one or the other. Like they don't realize that it's both. <laughs> Time to talk to actual companies. I think I'll start with applied intuition maybe. I don't know. Okay, I just talked to Applied Intuition. They were really nice. They asked me about like my background and that kind of stuff. And one of the software engineers, she explained like what her day-to-day -day life is like. And then she, they're all in Mountain View, like the whole team was just sitting in a conference room and they were all super friendly. And they also said that they have this program where 
if you become a new grad and you go to America for, and then after one year you can do rotation in other countries. So you can go to like Germany or Korea or Japan. So I was like, I definitely want to do that. I told them that. So it's super cool. So it just makes it sound way better. And it's really cool that they get to talk to like customers and work with their clients or other like big like autonomous vehicle companies. I just talked to Vectorized and I told them about how much I love Red Pandas because the product is Red Panda and they talked about like why they're building it and like what's their trajectory or like they want to make it like the best way to stream data and just starting with like Kafka API and that kind of stuff but continue to build on it because there was like that like it was the CTO or VP and I don't know so there were like two engineers there and then I think it was CTO joined? I forget, he was like some head of engineering or something. <laughs> and they said their team is around like the Americas and Europe mostly and there's two the two engineers who are there are mostly in the cloud area so I was kind of like, interested in that as well. And they said just email my resume to them, like don't apply on their website. I think that's pretty cool and they're all remote. That's, that's also good. I don't know if that's what I want for my first job outside of school. Don't stay looking out the window and how late do you plan on six and a half hour day for on site? What? Coda? What? What? Oh my god. Oh, can I? Okay. Yeah. Hello. My name is Maria. Nice to meet you. Um, I am actually also doing like a data engineering internship. So you said, Viva, you're in data, data engineering. So that's really cool. So I'd love to hear about what it's like at CODA. And the people from CODA are really nice. And I'm actually surprised, like it's been around for like seven or eight years, they said. So they were in stealth mode for three years building it. And then like all the people who work there have like 20 years of experience, like all the original engineers, like the CTO, CEO, that kind of stuff. And then they spent a few years pri as a private company trying to get users and then became more public because their idea was like, oh yeah, like stuff like Notion and that kind of stuff and Airtable, like those are, they're specific and like siloed in their area, but then we're gonna be more general and then fill in all the gaps. And then now they're trying to get more customers and that kind of stuff. I think their product is really cool. And then they also wanted to have like a marketplace where people can like, developers can create templates and then sell those templates, which is also like, I work at Shopify and we have an app store like that as well. That's really cool because then you have developers developing stuff to make your thing better. And I think that's a really good idea. And then I'm just gonna apply to some jobs on their website, I guess, because they said that I should do that. And there was actually a data engineering woman there. She's so cool. And it's her first time doing data engineering. So she was really nice. And she's only been there a few months, but she was explaining like, there's only three people in data eng and then three data scientists. So they were closely together. And she's like, you have so many cool problems to solve and so many things to build. I think that would be really cool to do. Also, honestly, I feel like none of these are what I expected. Or maybe vectorized is because I'm like, okay, data stuff, like very niche. So mostly going to be male. So, which is just like, yeah, like this, this, the field, you know? But it was actually cool to see Coda, like female data engineer. That was really nice. But yeah, as you can tell, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm applying for software roles, data eng, infrastructure stuff as well, even though I don't know anything in the cloud, but I can learn. Like that's gonna be my next internship anyways. Hopefully, hopefully <laughs> Shopify puts me on that team or like one of the team. And yeah, I don't know what I'm doing. But yeah, these, so these companies are interesting. It's not what I expected. And also people are like such jerks. Like they come in, like especially for Vector Eyes, or actually two of them, like two people before me, they were like so, uh, I don't know. I, I would not want to work with them. <laughs> like just the students, the students acted so weirdly. I'm so tired. Okay, I'm done for the night. It's 9.08 p.m. I talked enough with people, listened to them enough. My eyes are all red from looking at the computer screen all day. I speed ran <laughs> applying for all these things now. You'll see what emails I get tomorrow or the day after. It's gonna be interesting. Gotta start leak coding now. Very depressing.